Okay, gang, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Today, we are bringing you our top five tips and tricks on traveling Europe by train. Number one, consider using a URL pass. I've done this a couple different times, and we did it for 90 days in Europe. It's especially helpful if you're going to a bunch of different countries. So consider buying one that covers 33 different countries or one that is unlimited or one that just lets you travel on select days to make it more affordable. A lot of different options, very, very helpful. Number two, have a plan, but be flexible. Now, train schedules can change. You might miss a train and need to adapt a little bit. So know that your schedule may not be perfect, but have a general idea of where you need to go and when you need to get there, but be willing to have a little flexibility in there. Number three, know the local nuances. This is everything from holidays to the way they might scan your pass when you walk by. Have an idea of what that looks like. Some countries require train reservations, some don't. There's a lot of different nuances and you really need to know the holidays. We cannot express that enough. Number four, understand the reservation process. Now you may be in a country where you don't need reservations. In that case, just go have fun. But if you are in a country that requires reservations, know how to get it. Some places you're gonna have to go in person to the train station to book it, like happened to us in Lyon. You can hear more about that here. Or you might be able to reserve online like we were able to in Italy. So just do a little research, know what you're in for, and know how you need to do it. Number five, pay attention kind of a big deal, especially if you're traveling with someone like me, because I like to sleep. <laughs> Some of the things that we came across in Europe is um, construction up ahead and the train tracks were going to be out of commission. And so they would stop the train and put everyone on a bus. And if you're not listening and um, maybe you didn't catch it in their language or your own language, then that means you have absolutely no idea what's going on when somebody tells you to get off and get on a bus. We highly recommend traveling Europe by train. It's the way everybody does it there, and you'll be so glad that you did. The trains drop you off in the city center, and you get to see all the stuff you want to see along the way, like we did on our best train ride when we went to Zermatt, Switzerland. It's a train where you spend all day going through the Swiss Alps. Honestly, we would have paid just to take that train, but we got to stay in Zermatt and hang out and see some of the beautiful country going there and leaving there. You can hear all about Zermatt here. And what would you say was our worst train ride? Um, should we say it together? Sorrento. Sorrento. We love the Amalfi Coast and it was totally worth it. But Sorrento, Italy was definitely a train ride to remember. It was packed. There had been a strike. So that happens a lot, especially in France and Italy. I will never forget all these people that were on this train because there were all of these strikes happening right before we walked up. So just tons of people were waiting for the train. We, we had a train ride to remember. You can hear all about our transportation tips in the latest episode of the Travel FOMO podcast. Life is short, guys. Wander well.